Over the last three years, Soch has fact-checked a range of topics from health misinformation to political disinformation. Um, what we've noticed is that often a claim will go viral once, then it'll die down. Then it might even go viral three years later, five years later. Um, particularly when it comes to false images, we often find that we're fact-checking the same images every few years. Uh, so that's quite interesting. Aside from that, we've also noticed that, unfortunately, the burden of truth is often on the consumer of the media, and you can't often trust news or certain news organizations or social media companies to give you true, true information uh, and factual information. And I think an increase in digital literacy would be very helpful or sort of I think there needs to be more awareness of like the fact-checking tools that are easily available. For example, Google Reverse of its search. There needs to be more information around the funding of different news organizations and where they where they get their funding from, what their particular biases might be. I think it's always helpful to read the same news from four or five different news organizations and sort of come to some sort of conclusion or consensus from that. Um, we've also noticed that claims tend to go viral on WhatsApp and then so or sometimes Twitter and then they move to Facebook and then Instagram. We often find that if there is a particular viral claim, it's it's everywhere. It's on all platforms, and it's very easy to get conf to be confused and to be like, is this true? Is this false? Um, it, it's a an uphill battle sort of for fact checkers as well because clickbaity claims and claims that are more inflammatory, those sort of posts get a lot more traction on social media websites. They also, I think, as as human beings, we are just more um, sort of excited by those posts. We're more concerned by those posts. We're more likely to share them. Uh, whereas a fact check, which is written in a more, in a very unbiased way, very matter of fact to the point, uh, very transparently, those all but don't always get that same amount of traction on these social media algorithms. Um, so these are some of the things we've noticed, some things where like concerns we have and we're trying to work through and, and connect with more people who can sort of be more aware of the fact checking process and maybe take up some like some fact checking themselves in their daily lives when they're reading news.